After almost two decades long battle to prove her innocence, a Columbus woman is no longer a prison inmate. Former 10 TV anchor Jerry Revish is back tonight with an exclusive interview with the babysitter wrongfully accused of being a child killer. Jerry? For Yolanda and Clay, I had my first sit down interview with Kim Hoover Moore at the Ohio Reformatory for Women in Marysville some years ago. But from that day to this, there is no doubt in my mind that she didn't kill little Samasha Benson. There was just something about how calmly she laid out her years of experience in babysitting with never a problem with a child and how key pieces of evidence and information were never presented by her lawyer at her trial. It took all these years for Kim to see the truth finally went out. Kim Hoover Moore couldn't believe the warden assistant's words. You're going home now. She told herself this can't be happening. Because it had been so long and we had so many setbacks and so many uh, things that didn't go our way. A 19-year nightmare of court battles and a parole rejection had suddenly come to an end. Kim was wrongfully convicted in the 2002 death of nine-month-old Samasha Benson, who was in her care as a babysitter. The infant died from what's called shaken baby syndrome, in which a child is shaken so violently it causes bleeding on the brain. An autopsy revealed a skull fracture in addition to the brain bleed. But it took dogged work by the Ohio Public Defender's Office, presenting scientific evidence that the injuries suffered by the baby were weeks or even months old. The medical evidence actually doesn't point to Kim at all, and it, it shows the opposite, in fact. Um, it shows that Samisha wasn't injured in Kim's care. To this day, no one knows for sure who hurt Samisha Benson. But earlier this month, a Franklin County judge vacated Kim Hoover Moore's conviction and ordered her release. So what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to get my bearings. I'm still trying to figure out things. Like getting a Social Security card and birth certificate and learning how to drive again after 19 years of being locked up. She's grateful to be staying with family for now. She has some health issues that need attention, too cataract surgery, and the need for a cardiologist following the heart attack she suffered in prison earlier this year. I don't like to say this, but I was under prolonged stress for a long time because I kept wanting to prove my innocence. When you have something hanging over you like this for a long period of time, it does bring on stress. But all that's behind her now, and freedom is good for reducing stress. But so would some compensation for the years of life Kim has lost. Her lawyers say down the road, she may file a civil suit against the state for wrongful imprisonment, a condition that Joanna Sanchez says an untold number of inmates find themselves in today. It's a human system. I mean, our criminal justice system, it's made of humans doing human things. Humans make mistakes, errors happen, science progresses. Absolutely, these errors occur on this large scale, and I have no doubt with the number of people we have incarcerated in Ohio and across this country that there are many innocent people still in prison. Now, at age 57, Kim Hoover Moore plans on making up for lost time. She earned an associate's degree from Ashland University. She has thoughts of eventually opening up a dog care business. Now, the Ohio Public Defender's Office has since added two more lawyers to its wrongful conviction project team. As you can imagine, the project gets inundated with requests for help from inmates claiming their innocence. So far, they've been able to help 10 inmates win their freedom. Mm. Well, Jerry, is Kim Hoover more bitter over having lost so many years of her life behind years. bars? Yeah, yeah. yeah she, she feels vindicated, not bitter that all the work she and the Public Defender's Office put into her case has finally paid off. She's too relieved and happy tonight that this incredible, indescribable nightmare is finally over. Mm, it's scary, it can happen to anyone. All right, yeah. thank you, Jerry, great story, and thank you for coming back to share yeah, that. Yeah, it's great to see you thank again. You.